to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, then hello guys, welcome back. So today I'm in my Spanx, ready, and a vest top. And I've been to Matalan, so I've got a Matalan try on haul for you. But I'm going to start off this video with something that I wouldn't normally do. Now, I've got a feeling people might not watch this now because of what I'm about to say. That's absolutely fine because this is a hobby of mine. I'm not really in it for the views, but if it can help anyone, then I'm going to do it. I see a sign out while shopping with my nan today, and it said a third of women don't check their boobs for lumps. And I thought, and the re reasons was don't have the time, scared of finding something, things like that. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to do a little demonstration on how I check my boobs. I found two lumps last year. Luckily, they turned out not to be nothing. I actually got advised by the doctor, 90% of lumps in breast turn out to be nothing anyway. Women do get feelings in their breast. They'll get like a cyst or a gland. It could be hormonal. But it's always best to check. And the more you get to know your breast, the more you will notice differences. So I just think it's a good thing. So I haven't got a bra on today. So the, the little saggy, and to be fair, they're being held up by the vest because they would be even lower than that, see? Nipples pointing down on the ground. So I just thought, if you're watching my video, that means that you've got a spare couple of minutes. So I'm going to do it at the beginning of the video, and then I'm going to do the Matalan haul, because I know sometimes people don't watch to the end. So all I want to do is just you either have your breasts out completely, or in something very thin, like a vest. And all you're going to need to do is use this little flat part of your hand, and hold the breast, and just press gently and firmly in little circles going around, making sure that you get all of your breast. Now, I'm really familiar with my boobs. I would, rec I would sort of recognize a difference or a change. It can be a rash or like a redness or little dimples around the nipple, any like sort of like liquids leaking from the nipple without squeezing. I'm not talking about new mums, but you still just feel, I remember always being in a panic when I first had babies because I was breastfeeding and you your boobs are always changing. But all I will do is I will make sure I'm going to go round. And I want you to do it while I'm doing it. So you feel at ease. You feel comfortable. You're going to do it. It's going to take a couple of minutes. Then we're going to get into the hall anyway. And you just got to make sure to go over the whole of your boob. And the thing is, it can become a thing. Even do it. Get your husband to check for you. It hasn't got to be a thing where you're embarrassed. And people say they're scared of finding something. Well, I read online that 75% of cancers that are found in the breast, if they're found early, it's nothing. So, you know, it's always best to check and you're always best to sort of go right round, go, go all the way round, right up into your armpit. It takes minutes, I'm three minutes in the video, but I'm chatting as well. I'm just using the firm part of my hand, pressing down firmly, and then check the other boob. If you get any in, inverted nipples, if you've got them naturally, that's natural to you. Everyone's boobs are different, but, I just feel around the whole of my breast. I'm not embarrassed. My little saggy boobs, they are what they are. And I just want you to feel all of your boobs. And it sounds really silly, and I thought I might not do this. But even if 50 people watch this and they check their boobs, I feel good about it. Yeah, darling. I'm videoing. <laughs> Come and check my bit tits as well. <laughs> so I just want you to feel and go all the way around. And you should do this weekly. You know, you know when you have that long bath or you're having a shower and you're shaving your legs and your fifi and your armpits? Just check your boobs then. It's always best to do it. And just checking your armpits. If you get any lumps that are swollen or anything, also that's a sign. But mine was cysts both times. I also, three years ago, had a lump and it was just nothing. It was just to do with my tissue. So don't be frightened and I want you to check your boobs. And don't forget to go for your smear test as well. But I just thought I would do that because I thought if you check then you check and it's brilliant because I see the sign and it had like all these things on it it made me really think I thought you need to check your boobs and I thought I'm gonna go and check my boobs but I thought I'm gonna check my boobs while you are there so you get to see my little saggy boobs as well then so you know make you feel a bit better about yourself you ain't got to worry they're not all naturally up here so now I'm gonna get on with the Matalan haul I'm really sorry if that bored you and you can skip past that if you don't want to I don't want you to I want you to check but yeah do that once a week so now let's get into the video <laughs> But I'm going to start off, anyway, I look 
looked online on Matalan before I went to Matalan to see if what was sort of in there. I got really excited. The decorations in there, like the Christmas decorations, I was like, oh my goodness, are, are they that nice? They're just amazing. They've even got like bath mats and soap dispensers. Oh, I just love it. But they did have loads of clothes in there as well. <laughs> and this is a try on Friday, and I'm spitting now, I'm getting so excited. But one of the things that I did see of the clothing range, I'm getting all excited in my arms now, was this dress, and I absolutely love it, and they did have it. So this was £16, and I got this in a size 16. And it's like an acidy mustard sort of colour. It's like a really bright mustard, and it's got like a little leopard print kind of thing on it. I just love this. It's got the little fabric covered buttons on the front. Probably should put a bra on for these because it's not going to look as good with my boobs mid belly. But I love this. And I've also had a lovely girl, I don't know if she wants me to mention her name so I won't, but she said that she wants outfits for work, that she, know, she can't wear jeans, it can be trousers, it can be dresses. But I thought, I'm going to try and tuck these, tuck these little Penelope's up. See, see what I mean? That difference they look. So I'm going to tuck them up, but how lovely is this dress? Now it doesn't have ties on it, so I can't tie this in if I want to, but you could put a belt on with this. But I love that little like feminine frill that you get there. It's a lovely length, and it's also a lovely length on the arms. And I think with a little pair of black tights and little loafers with this, this is, could be classed as work where you could wear a nice long black coat with it, or a little black cardigan. I love the little button details, look, if you can see. It's really lovely. Little ruffle details on the sleeve. And I was so pleased that I got this because I literally cannot wait to wear this. And I think this sort of mustard goes with, you know, like the really dark black hair, the midi sort of colour like I've got going on, bright blonde. It really does suit any skin tone. I'm quite pale and I don't feel like this washes me out. And I also think if you've got darker skin, it's also going to just look so beautiful. And I really love this. It's very similar, but like a longer sleeve to like the ones I got from Next before. They were the red... Love heart print and the navy print. See, I'm out of breath again now. Oh, it is raining, cats and dogs outside. It literally is raining so bad. I went and met my husband down the bank. He got home early from work and he had to go to the bank. So I met him there and I just got caught in the rain. So I've had to try and go over a little bit over my hair. But a bit of a wasted blow dryer <laughs> this morning. When I got her hair blow dried, then I went to Matalan with me nan. She drove me down there because, like I said, I get lost. So she drove me and showed me. I was like, this is relatively very simple, Nan. I reckon I can do it. I say that every time I go to my local town and then I get lost again. So I don't know if I'm going to find it. That was £16. And I absolutely love that. And when I see this, I just thought of her again because I thought, how Coco Chanel does this look and how professional does this look? And this is going to be something that just looks beautiful on any size or shape because it's a lovely boxy dress. I got this in a size 16 for £18. And, oh, look at this. This is kind of like all my dreams coming true of the skirt and the jacket set from my fashion overhaul if I'd have been realistic and got the right size in. <laughs> oh. So, look at this little bad boy. <gasps> I just hope it fits because I'm always more of like an 18 on my bum now than I am on my top. Yeah, see, it's a bit... No, do you know what? I think when I've got tights on, they suck me in a bit more, it'd be fine. I've got to try and do the zip up. I'm not the most flexible of people. So whether I... <laughs> oh God, I don't even know if I'm going to be like, no, I can't do that up with the zip at the back. But it will come in a bit more at the back once that's zipped up. But how cute is this? Look at the sleeve on it. How cute is that sleeve? It's got like little fringing. So cute. And it comes down in a really classy V. It will come in a bit more fit because look... Once that zip's done, and obviously when I'm wearing a bra and I'm not trying to pull them in here, they'll be sort of like here instead. And it's also got like this lovely bow detail on the front that just looks so feminine and really pretty. And it's stitched like that, so you can't undo the bow. It's not going to keep getting undone and getting on your nerves. The sleeves are a lovely length. It's also got like this black piping around the top, which I think is lovely because sometimes this material can kind of bobble if it's on an area that you rub. So if you wear necklaces and things like that, it's got that lovely like chiffon -y there. And then as we get down, it's got the two little black, they're faux pockets, they're not real pockets. And they've got the little gold buttons on them. But I thought this is lovely. It does look nice on if I could zip the back of it up, but I'm not gonna call Gary, because I know Gary would be like, I don't wanna get in your video <laughs> and show me, but I thought 18 pound, like 
this to me looks a little bit like I can't think of the section. I know they've got like a cheaper section called the Trafalogue or something like that. But you know, like in Zara, they have their sort of like, they have cashmere cardigans, they have the really smart coats, and they have a few dresses and blouses like this. So to spend £18 in Madeleine and like have the wool fringing and stuff on the sleeve, I think this looks so much more expensive. And I think this is for young and old. It suits all different. I really want to do it up so you can see the fit of it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I just don't want to break it. Let me try and see. Oh, let's see. I'll zip it a bit more. See if I can do it. Come on, Rose. You can do it. Come on. We're nearly there. I'm catching all my hair in it now. Oh, here we go. Look, right. Right. Now, I've also got to tuck the breasticles up a bit. Oh, see. Now, that's much better. And it actually fits on the bottom now as well. Now it's done up. But that's lovely. And you could also, if you want to bring in your waist, wear a little belt around this. This, I think, is going to look so cute. With, you know my fashion overhaul? Got the little black cardigan. It has the little pearly buttons down it. I don't know if that's going to be a little bit too <laughs> chanel looking. But I really like that. I keep touching my hair because I've got a sweaty fringe again. Please don't judge me. <laughs> but this is a lovely length. And this is going to look lovely for work as well. But I also think, I'm going to wear this with black tights. But you could sort of like wear... I'm thinking like high-heeled ankle type boots would look really cute with this or like nice little loafers or you could even wear this with bare legs and lovely little strappy high-heeled sandals or wedges with a nice coat. I know it's freezing but I know that not everyone goes out in tights on a night out in the winter so I've done it up at the back and now I'm starting to think should I have done it up because how the hell am I going to get it undone? We will try. Oh, goodness me. I'm going to take up so much of the time of the video, me just trying to attempt to get the dress on and off, zipped up. I think we're all right. Yeah, we're fine. When I was in the changing room, I said to my nan, I said, I don't think the 14's going to fit, but it looks quite big on the top. And she said, well, just try and put your arms in it. And I went, nan, I said, I can't be dealing with that. You're going to have to come in there with me to try. And I got my arms in it. And luckily, she was there. I was like, that, that wasn't going on at all. Right. While I was in there, I got asked by a lady on Instagram if I could try the mum jeans from Matalan. Now, I'm not going to lie. I love the Topshop Joni jeans. Not Joni. That was when I was really young. Um, <laughs> the Jamie jeans. The Jamie high-waisted crop, like ankle grazer ones. I found them amazing. I found once I got into the more size 16 bracket rather than the 14 bracket, I found they wasn't as supportive around my bum and my thighs as I would have liked because that's my biggest part. I carry a lot of like wobbly weight. I'm like wobbly everywhere. And I like something to sort of like make me firm looking. So I normally get Primark. I think Primark you can't really beat. I've not found somewhere else that just do it as structured. But I'm not going to lie. These feel incredible. And these are the mum jeans. And I got these in a size 16. I didn't want to tempt fate by trying to get the smaller ones like I did with Primark. And them not going nowhere near me. So we've got these. These were £16 for the mum jeans. Now they're £13 in Primark. But I'm not going to... I honestly think like the zips and the buttons and stuff. They actually look a little bit more well made. And I like the little raw edge on the bottom of them. So I'm going to try these on. I quite like that the pockets are quite high up as well. A bit like the fashion over jeans where they sort of make your bum look a bit higher up. So I thought, oh god, can you imagine if I put these on and they're just ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to have to get my stool for this. But yeah, I quite, quite like them around the bum. They're pulling me up a bit. I'm still getting a little bit of the saddlebag square bum. It's getting rid of the belly a little bit. I mean, don't get me wrong, look. Not, be careful with your vest rose. Remember you ain't got bra on. <laughs> my boobs are like resting on the on the hemline. Like <laughs> with my belly hanging out. I'm going to stand on the stool so you can get a rough idea of the length of these. Now I really like these lengths. I am quite a petite leg. I'm normally about a 28. So they might fit you roughly about there. But that is roughly how long a mum jean would be anyway. I find a lot of people roll their mum jeans up. Sort of have them like that. Wear them like little pumps. And a nice blouse, but I'm gonna have mine done like that because I think they fit quite nicely. So, and I'll tell you what, as well, they're not they are a solid black, but they're kind of like I am getting a bit of a smile, but I think it is getting to the stage where I'm just eating that many cakes that I'm gonna get one 
regardless of what trousers I wear. I've just not been able to stay out of the cake team the last month. I keep going in there. I keep running down to the little Tesco's Express. Like, I need some angel slices in my life. Gal, we go to Tesco's on your way home from work. Pick us up a little lemon drizzle, will ya? Like, I literally just keep having <laughs> loads of cake. And I need to pack it in, really. I was kind of thinking, this is my logic. If I start Slimming World on Tuesday, lose that five pound that I've been wanting to lose for about a month. <laughs> lose that five pound then i can kind of eat as many mince pies as i like over christmas i don't know if that's logical but in my brain that sounds logical sort of just eat a little bit less cake now and then i can eat as many mince pies and stolen as i like i think that's kind of a good idea <laughs> i think that would be a good idea only if the fact that i didn't go overboard at christmas but i done it last christmas I was a size I was a size bigger last Christmas, last October. I went to Slimming World and I lost a stone. I've put on half the stone, but I, I've not gained the whole size, if that makes sense. I'm creeping back into my 18s, but it's not an issue. I'm not my bum's like an 18, 20. But that is that. So with these jeans, I thought, right, obviously, as you know, if you've been watching my try on hauls, I'm getting a little collection of clothes going on. And there is no point, listen, I'm not getting all these clothes because I think, right, you need all that you don't. You probably need about, what, three dresses, one pair of trousers, a couple of blouses. How often do you, if you're not at work or you're wearing a uniform or things like that, how often do you need these? And a lot of these stuff you can mix up with different pieces. But I think, I thought there was one of the kids coming in. Gary picked the kids up because he's home early. I thought, Think practical. What do you need to pick up but you could get in like a more stylish thing? So I thought if I'm looking for the jeans, I needed some black mum jeans. I'm living in my vintage slim ones from Primark because I absolutely love them. So I thought if I get these, why don't you get yourself some nice t-shirts that you can wear with a nice little jacket, chuck on some trainers, nice little watch and some accessories, run around the school in. Something practical that doesn't take a lot. You haven't got to put dress on and tights and do your hair. It can just be comfy ponytail day. So ponytail day, that sounds like a weird day. <laughs> But, so I got this, it's a size 16 and it's £9.50. Now bear in mind it is a t-shirt, so I think £9.50 is a bit of a joke for a t-shirt, but I didn't sort of realise, it's kind of like waffly material. It's got the sleeve, I think it's a three quarter sleeve, or it's just coming up shorter. I've also got buttons that do undo down the front, but when I felt this, it feels like a bit like a pyjama top. It isn't pyjama top, it is just normal top. But it's so soft. It's got like a furry woolly kind of thing inside. So like, you know, like, if you don't want to wear a big coat, but you're still inside, it's a bit chilly. So I've got this. And I thought, this with a little, oh, it isn't three quarter length sleeves. It's full length sleeves. But I thought, how cute is this little t-shirt for a mum? Like a little mum t-shirt. Like, I just thought this is quite sweet. I also think if you had a bra on, <laughs> It would look a little less like pyjamas. But you can undo a few of them buttons, have like a contrasting vest underneath. I like this, but I would probably tuck that in, wear with a little belt, a little pair of pumps or trainers, nice little watch, maybe like a little ponytail to the school. I don't walk to the school like this, my kids would disown me. But do you know what I mean? I just think that looks quite, quite cute. And <laughs> I'm very sorry to be gross. I've tucked the boobs up, tucked that one up, not tucked that one up. That nipple's there. That was. <laughs> oh, why have a boob job? Just lift them in a vest. <laughs> you need to lift, lift them up, stick them up there. They'll be all right. So I breastfed my three kids. So that is why. But yeah, and I really like this. I think for nine pound fifty, even though it's a bit dear for a t-shirt. I think this is quite a nice t-shirt. I feel good in it and I'd feel like I could wear this out with like a nice little over the shoulder bag. Little, I can't even distract from them right now. I've been playing with them too much with a little breast checks. So, um, <laughs> yeah, with a pair of jeans. So I just thought I've got a nice little workwear thing, even though I don't work, but I will wear that. I'll just wear that going out. I've got like a couple of like things that I've got to do with friends that I've been invited to. So I'll be wearing the little black ones. I think that's quite swish. Oh, that word don't come out in a little while, is it? The yellow dress is going to be one of them dresses that I wear all the time. But then I thought, there's mum jeans. These will go with all my lovely blouses that I've bought and I've been buying. You can't go wrong with a pair of black mum jeans. And I just thought, this t-shirt, even if I wear it with a pair of leggings over the top of a gym vest, if I decide to go gym, I'm just like putting it out there. I don't go to the gym. 
but this is dream rosy saying this. So, <laughs> so, I mean, if you go to the gym, you can wear this. I don't go to the gym, I'm just saying. But this will be like my going down to like the shops, running the kids to school, casual, but I feel quite nice in it. So, I didn't go mad today. I think I spent about 60, which is quite mad because it's still a lot of money. Um, but I got that dress for 18, I've got that one for 16, £9.50 for my top, and six, 16 pounds for my mum jeans. So, I'm going to go, because I don't want the video to be super, super, super long. I'm going to get on and start replying as well, because I've been really behind. Really, really behind. Had a few family things to deal with, so I'll get on and reply. And, uh, yeah, I hope you have a fantastic week. If you like my video and you want to keep up with my videos, don't forget to subscribe, press the notification bell. And thank you so much for all the lovely comments. They're really, really kind. And don't forget to check your boobs. <laughs> so have a fantastic weekend. Take care. Bye.